morning time with the ice fishing crew, Jared Shaw. There he is. Hash browns. We're just gearing up to go. We're outside now. Hi. Hi. Good to see the live stock in the morning. He's fishing expert, Jared Shaw. He's a uh, baby crop. Uh, he hunts, all he does is hunt and fish. I think I work so that he can do <laughs> fisherman. Hello. How are you doing? Cody. Bob. Bob? Yep. This is the other ice fisherman. Courtney. Well, we were thinking of just hitting Joe's pond, yeah. and uh, I didn't know where the bait stores were or anything. Go to St. Johnsbury, Boston Road, there, about a mile. Okay. okay. Well, uh, he should have spikes and live bait. Okay. Joe's pond for fishing sucks. Uh, <laughs> I got friends from the fire department stuff, got a shack up there. They smelt fish at night. Yeah. Uh, they do get smelt. I would say stay away from the channels between the islands, between the ponds. But they've already lost two snowmobiles there this year. Oh, pulling them off the bottom, but. Night, yeah, small fish. Here, small ones, right? yeah. yeah. No. If you're going to fish big leak trout, they said that there was one okay. Okay. a foot under the ice. Okay. Smelt's the best bait, but you can't get them. <laughs> um, right. the uh, they're going to change that bait, Laura, I think. And if he knows they were people there, it's stupid. It's stupid. If down at Comerford, on top of Comerford Dam, uh, that's right down here. We're not too concerned, we'll just get out there. Just get, get out there. Yeah, especially knowing where to get the bait is yeah, huge, you know, yeah. that's... Yeah, it's Flanders Signs is the name of the bait shop. It's, okay. Yeah. Well, have fun. Yeah, yeah. I hope yeah, you're enjoying you so the house. If you have yeah. any questions nice. at all, have somebody just text me. Okay. Right there. Thank you so much. You're Good very luck. welcome. Thank you. You know, when you say to somebody like, hey, you know, between this pond and that pond, don't fish in there. Yeah. You know what it makes you want to do really bad? Like, you know, we should, we should probably just go over there and fish a special spot. We lost it, but he's probably telling the truth, too, though. He's on the fire department. I saw his. <laughs> we have lost a number of snow machines in there. So what is this thing? Uh, uh, it's the depth. depth of the lake. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Oh, there's Chaga right there on that tree. Locals might think me odd if I'm climbing up a tree and hacking it off with a hammer or whatever. <laughs> no way to see around it whatsoever. Don't mind this bridge. Is there any way that I could just do like a half a cup of those and a half a cup of that? Those sure. Guys? Yeah, that'd be good. Go variety. Thank you. Sure. No cop, no stop. That's what Courtney always says. Well, my mom says my rules are. We call her the red light man. I think I said that one time. <laughs> Boom, tent is almost established. Christen these bad boys right into the... This bad boy. Teeth on this thing. Those are ice eating teeth. Arr. Two dots on that end. You squeeze it and you can feel it like bulbing out and it just like oozed everywhere. 
What does that do, Jared? This is a glowing jig, so it'll glow up. UV light glow it. Oh, so it's like glow in the dark and that charges it? Yep. Oh, that's ingenious. Good. You see this right here? See, this is Courtney. And this other line is a fish on the bottom. See how he's coming in mm. So the red's the bottom bottom. Red's the bottom bottom. And then when she drop, pick it up high see if it falls you. See okay, this line breaking yeah, away yeah, from yeah. the bottom? That's a fish. Sweet. So that's a lure. If there's any green in between here and there, it tells you that there's clearly, clearly a fish. So what a great tool. I might grab that tripod. Wow, the temperature difference between here and there is <laughs> huge. Just, you want me to close this flap or is it good open? Okay. Okay. We're going on to the next hole now. All right. We're going to do some ice scooping. Bam. on the very top and then sometimes it gets to be like a secondary layer of ice and if you don't scoop that out it's hard to get the fish down through the hole. Let's get back and we'll get a close up of what Jared's doing. Hooking the fish and setting it. All right. Setting up some ice fishing traps and so we're looking for some lake trout today, maybe some rainbows. I don't know. We're about 50 feet of water. And so what we're doing is right now we got to figure out how deep we want them. These, this, this one right here, I'm just putting under the ice, and we got our minnows here, our shiners. They love this cold weather and these fish. They just hook them right behind the on top of their back. And this one we're just going to set under the ice. There's really not much uh, set up here, so just make sure you get the fish under the ice and I'll give them a couple feet down and hopefully we'll land a lake trout or something on there. Um, usually we like to sound our holes, which is when you stick a weight on the end and send it to the bottom and pull your line about a foot up off the bottom, a couple feet, a foot, a couple feet, somewhere in there. But this one we just want under the ice. We're hoping they'll come up and slam them under the ice. Really all there is to it. Not much of this fishing thing. I'll try to get a close up of the fish hooking this time. Behind their bat, their top fin, right? And bloop in the water. Get a live one. He's gonna swim right to the bottom for us. Get down there. Get in there. Back to the shack. Here it is. Lightweight setup here. Plus, you get to sticker the sled. Got my big tooth in the back, I think. Big tooth. Okay, so we just mainly killed a dispatched. dispatched of. That's the chum over there. And uh, Jared is actually after the eyeballs today. Fish love fish eyeballs, so. Sick. Yeah, sick little critters. So, pulling eyeballs out. Meanwhile, that's what we're talking about. If you don't like pulling eyeballs out, you don't like <laughs> ice fishing, you know what I mean? <laughs> You gotta enjoy it. Maybe not enjoy it, but that is our eyeball. Chasing, but not biting. It's never. Let's go try to clean ice out. It's a perch. It's a tiny one. <laughs> All this for a little perch. Oh yeah. Beep. Oops, I think that I explains a lot. Look at that little guy. Oh, look at his fin. Oh yeah, he already puked up his insides. Yeah. Pulling him out of 50 feet's a 
They don't like that so much. They don't like that so much. But we can use his eyes. <laughs> Not so good. Pickerel. Happy fish, eh? Take the fish of the day. Pickerel. Now we're rolling that fish. Egg in the hole, pickerel. Egg in the hole. Now what fish are you going to keep today? Uh, we're looking for perch, trout, crappie. Rebait the hook. Send them back again. Okay, we're in it for the fish. We, we decided to come, we're outside jigging. Decided to move inland some. The fish finder and jigging and we're in the weed, kind of the weed zone. And uh, yeah, there's some activity down there on this device with blinky lights, which on this camera looks like they're spinning, but they really aren't. I'm gonna go to Anyway, to us, the fish finder looks fine, but to you, it looks like it's going in circles, <laughs> so. Sorry about that. Super bad focus, come on. Monsters. Yeah! Fourth fish of the day though. Chinna fish? Whoop. Oh, I the same size. Yeah! If you hold them really out in front of you. Okay. Yeah, you're going the wrong way there, buddy. Uh, that's your bad. Oh, my lens is fogging. On the inside? Oh, I don't know. Still looking for a little bigger, but we'll take that one home with us. Yeah. yeah. A little filet out of him. A little tiny. You can't just come in and steal the holes all the time. Where are your friends, my friend? There he is. What does that make it for today? That's number six. Fish number, wise? Number six fish for the day. Did we did. All about smelt. I don't know that I've ever eaten a smelt before. Oh, that's good. You, should I use another Haley? Yeah. Um, grab that other rod like this. Ah, got one. Oh yeah. Okay, at least it's proven though. Okay. Smelt it is. We're smelting now. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a decent one. Nice. Line. Nice job, Jared. Nice on. Bam. Do you like jig for it? Nice, baby. Nice. Oh, gosh, you just like brought a bunch in. Yeah? I'm 
Yeah. You know what's crazy is I think we've already filled up 16 megabytes worth of, or okay. gigabytes, 16 gigabytes of memory. It is crazy. Oh, I could definitely see that. Nice. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Back to smelting. In the meantime, Jared's racked up a pile of smelt. I'm excited for Oh, so after you buy bait, you have X amount of hours to use it? That's why they give you a slip with it. Oh, no way. Huh. You have to state what pond you're going to, and it starts at a certain period of time. And you can't go to different ponds with your bait? Nope. Wow. You have to, if you do, you have to have two different buckets and two different bait slips yep. with the exact quantity of what you're on there. That is harsh. Yeah. Because you basically have to have, well, I guess you don't have to have bait to go ice fishing, but bait fish. I mean, with spikes, you can you can jig around and stuff, but like it's nice to like leave a trap out because you're more likely to get a bigger fish on like. See, like for fish finders, how you'd pretty much do this was you'd just be out here jigging for a while, like with a small hook first smelt, and once you find that, you'd have to mark your line mark somehow your depth there. Oh, and someone have to before fish finder, so they'd have like a button on their line ready to go, so they can yeah, just yeah. slide it up to that spot, so they can drop it back down. Because uh, I've battered some things in Ritz crackers and been surprised how delicious it was. Ah, Ritz crackers are delicious. They are, yeah. And then you bread stuff in it. It's like, oh, oh I think it was, uh, we did green tomatoes in uh, Ritz cracker breading. It was good. Yeah. As you put out a light into the water, shine it down in what about a strobe? Do they like strobes? I don't know what they like. How could a strobe feature like this? Do seizures? Oh, yeah, it's open. I got it off the bottom, so I don't know what it is. It feels big! It feels bigger. Anybody? You guys want a piece of pizza? No, they can't. It's a perch. Oh, perch! And Jared. This for you, Wallace. Hey, put him back in the other hole so he can't find it. I don't think she's still alive. No, no, there she what? Is. <laughs> she came into it. I was just about to. Real uh, fast. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was done with she's the like, egg thing and she was going down. <laughs> not here. Yeah, there it is. That's a fatty.
Nice. Bam. Just for you. Yeah, I used to feel bad about, you know, if I caught this guy. It's kind of small to eat. You could get a little filet, but then after all this time I spent fishing, the eagles and stuff, they come right down right after you pick up and they sweep this stuff right up. So yep, they're like, so hey, baby. 22 smelt so far. Well, this one still has a little bit in it. Maybe two more smell. Tent just broke down in like no time at all. Super awesome. Super lightweight. Wish I had uh, got the entirety of it on film. They're gonna change that bait law, I think. And if he knows they were like it's stupid. It's stupid. Vermont state law. Boom. Got to dump all your bait at the end of the day. Unless you're coming back to the same pond tomorrow, and we happen not to be. And you can only keep your bait for so many hours after purchase with a slip that goes along with it. It's kind of, uh, I think, super wasteful. But uh, I think it's more for a money thing than anything. But there they are. See you guys later. Thanks for a great day. No dogs. Jared is taking a leak. John, sir. <laughs> Jerry Shaw, master fisher. Here we are at Lake Joe, and uh, Bob said we were going to fish here. Yep. Um, There's actually no fish here. Bared it off the day thinking maybe we could get a couple of good sized uh, lake trout. Um, turns out we got what? One good pike. Nope. No, pickerel. 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 Big, big pickerel. Uh, me and my fish name starts with a P. And then it turned into a smelt day. So. Uh, just yeah, not bam, a bad, bam, not a bad bam, bam, smelt, you know? That's how it'll look on the video anyway, just one after another. And uh, <laughs> so we got a bunch of tasty treats tonight. That's it, we're gonna fry them up and it's gonna be smelt dinner. Anyway, thank you, Jared, Master Jared, for taking me out. Jared Shot, Jared Jared glad Shaw. to meet you. That's right. <laughs> Joe's Pond. Joe. All right, Jared, what are we doing here with these smelts? Oh, we're cleaning them. Yeah. We're cleaning these smelts. <laughs> we're, right. we're gutting them. So basically, he cut the slit through the stomach, wow. and then he cut the backbone, and he pulled the rest of the innards out with the head, like a pro. That's what we're talking about. What do you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. All right, at the back of the... Bam. Still attached. All the good stuff comes out, just like that. Rinse. Rinse, repeat. Rinse, repeat. And we just have these guys here to go through. 